Sports at games have always been fairly cold and clinical and prided themselves on painstakingly accurate physics, loads of cars and tracks and tuning options, and the sort of stat crunching that few people outside of NASA truly understand. Forza Horizon is here to change all that and inject a huge dose of personality. Yes, and dubstep. <laughs> You've arrived at the fictional Horizon Festival in the middle of a fictionalised Colorado where music and car culture collide. The first hour is a total groan as you've got that whole we're down with the kids vibe and it's full of douchebags and stupid characters that are annoying. But all that backs off eventually. Yes, this isn't just an arcade racer with the Forza name tacked on. The handling, physics, car models and sexy lighting are all brought over from Forza 4 and it really does just feel like Forza. And yes, for the first time in a Forza game, there's night racing and proper dirt physics, which is a pretty big deal. Although everything is sunny in Colorado, so you won't be driving in the rain. The first thing you have to get used to is that there's no proper damage, no affecting damage. It's all cosmetic, so that means you won't be blowing out any tires or busting your engine open. I know this game is trying to be something different, but it's still, that's Forza, you know? You want that consequence for driving poorly, and why not just give me the choice? As always, you're free to set up the assists to make the game as easy or as realistic as possible, while the trusty Forza driving line and rewind abilities return to help out those who need it. Turn right. You still have the full range of upgrades available for each car, and the car selection isn't quite as large as Forza 4, but it's still pretty massive. There's no tuning though, so you won't be playing with suspension settings and shift gear ratios, and I don't really understand that stuff. I'd always just do something and go, there we go, I've done it. <laughs> but I think for Forza fans, I think that's a bit of a blow. Yeah, well, apparently they've just pre-tuned everything to be ideal for street racing, making them easier to handle and drift on an open road. I could barely drift at all in Forza 4, but here I was sideways all the time. The festival itself is where you go to buy cars and upgrade them, enter car clubs and everything else. And after a while, Hex, this festival idea did grow on me. Yeah, I liked how you could always kind of see it off in the distance with big fireworks and lights everywhere. It gives the world a sense of purpose and life. The campaign is broken down into different levels of wristband. Each win earns you a bunch of points that go towards earning a new level of wristband that unlocks a new set of tougher races. And all of the official festival events are on closed circuits, which remove that constant map checking you have to do in most open world races. It feels like classic Forza racing without any traffic getting in the way and with such a big map you never feel like you're playing the same track twice. Yeah, and there's plenty to do out and about in the open world. When you're just driving you're constantly earning skill points which go towards earning you a popularity rank. Drifting, speeding, near misses, and the longer you string together your moves the higher your multiplier will go, but hit a wall or crash and you lose your points. As you reach certain popularity ranks, you'll unlock special showcase events. They're mostly just time trials, but they're pretty exciting since they pit you in a special car against crazy things like planes or helicopters. And there are other races roaming around the world that you can challenge to an instant race. It's far more fun challenging chump cars with your beast, though, and just making some quick, easy cash. Let's talk about the multiplayer, Bajo. We only managed to test it out with a fairly small group, but there's a good range of modes from circuit and point-to-point -point races, cat and mouse and king, which were all fun. Although, without proper damage, you really do just get rammed a lot. Yeah. Even with proper damage, I just ram a lot anyway. I like to be the griefer of the group. Yeah. There is a free roam mode as well, but it was a bit disappointing. You can get seven friends in to mess around in the open world, but there's no traffic and nothing really to do other than a few co-op challenges. I think this game is trying to be a bit of everything, you know? It's trying to be a bit arcadey and a bit sim-like, but I wish it embraced both of those a bit more, you know? They almost nailed it. I just really want that proper damage, and also it would be nice to have some police chases and more spectacular crashes. I think you've just got to have those crashes in there for this kind of game. Mm. Uh, we should mention that this game was brought to us by a new studio, Playground Games, but the talent on their team are from some of the best racing studios in the world, like Bizarre Creations and Codemasters. Combine that experience with the Forza world and you've essentially got a best of racing game, making it one of the best races I've played in a while. So I'm giving it 8.5 out of 10 rubber chickens. Yeah, even with all of my little gripes, I absolutely agree with everything you just said. I'm giving it 8.5 as well. <laughs> <laughs> 